Okay, um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, we're gathered here today to announce the winners of our 2022 SE competition for the Champions Educational Foundation. Um, and um, here with me are the Board of Trustees and some of the examiners that participated in the um, marking and assessment of students that uh, were that submitted some their entry um, for the 2022 essay competition. So um, in order to discuss this, um, uh, the call for articles and the topic, I would be calling on uh, one of our examiners, um, the Deputy Chief Examiner, um, Mrs. Um, Nafisa Turabio. Um, please um, have the floor. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, welcome everybody and um, thank you for Thank you for um, your submissions and being here with us. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, I don't know, there's something wrong with my screen for some reason. Can I, um, I think it's frozen. Can I leave the meeting and- So I'll call on uh, Mrs. Nafsat uh, Rabio um, to give us an overview of the essay competition, um, to discuss the topic with us and um, um, criticize the submissions that were received um, by the participants. Please add the floor, Mrs. Um, Nafsat. All right. So um, we had we had um, a couple of um, submissions this year, and the timeline we we scheduled for the um, essay was um, first of December. So people started to to send in their entries on first of December, and by thirty first we were done with um, they were done with submissions. So after the um, essays came in, we took some time to brainstorm on how to. Um, approach the um, essays. We did plagiarism check, and that took about um, a week thereabouts. That was from first of January to seventh. So we are done. We were done with the plagiarism checks. So we started to assess the essays in January on 9th of January, and that took about um, say three weeks be between um, 9th of January to 4th of um, February, to a month thereabouts. So um, after that, we did an ID verification of the students because we we now had to we now had to um, get to the to, to select the top participants. So with the top twenty participants that we were that were um, on the list, we reached out to them to send their IDs between sixth of February to seventeenth of um, February, and then we selected the top ten. Then. 10 winners were announced. I mean, 10 winners were reached out to will be um, announced today. Although there is more than 10, but we'd reach out to all our winners today and the award ceremony will take place on 6th of March. So next slide, slide please. So generally we had over, um, so we had about 76 entries over the four weeks window and um, two were from secondary schools, but um, they are, they are um, not two, only not only two were from secondary school, but two secondary school students entries were disqualified. And we did plagiarism check of the top 20 papers. And um, that was after the first marking. So, and we used 15% as the acceptable plagiarism, um, acceptable plagiarism rates. And so we disqualified four other people from the top 20 we had initially selected because they had unusually, ha they had, higher um, plagiarism um, rates in their works. And so we replaced them with the next best four candidates. So um, in the second round, we, we did another second round marking for the um, 20 papers where we reshuffled um, the scripts again among um, the examiners. And so we had the third round marking again of the top four candidates that were used to replace the um, that were used to replace the people we had to take out for plagiarism because they also were in the nineties band. And so here we are today to announce the last um, men standing or women, last people standing, so to say. All right, um, thank you very much, um, Mrs. Nafisa. So um, that's about that. So it, before we go ahead, it's just to try to analyze the topic um, of the essay competition. And uh, here I would like to get the um, opinion of everybody present here today, what you think about the, um, about the topic. Um, so the topic is increasing higher degrees without proportionate improvement in unemployment, disparity between learning and education, 
It's, so, um, Mrs. Nofisa, so uh, looking at this topic, what do you think? Uh, I mean, what what's what were the articles received that you you get, you have marked the examiners? What were they like, and uh, how would you um, rate the the quality of entries that um, students had submitted? Um, I must say that I guess because we we have um, say um, students from the last um, from the last um, competition. It seems like people have improved over time in the quality of their writing. The um, plagiarisms have also reduced um, considerably well. And I see students coming in from very, um, very, very many different standpoints that it seemed very, very impressive to say. And um, there is considerable level of improvement in the quality of writing, the style, the use of evidence, and then attention to details and um, plagiarism. Many people spoke to the topic in ways that I did not also imagine, and it was very, very impressive. Yeah, all right, thank you very much. So because one give birth to this um, topic is trying to analyze the situation of unemployment in the country in which um, we, you would expect education or certificates, higher degrees to translate to improved um, uh, employment. But um, it seems that the statistics does not seem to be in favor of that. We still have a lot of graduates and even higher degree holders, the master's degrees and PhD degrees holders um, with, who are unemployed or underemployed. So, and the, the article is just, the essay is just to try to criticize and to look at an holistic approach, what exactly is happening and how, can this um, be, the, be, be improved upon? And um, at the end of it, we hope to be able to get some point from our participants and possibly make uh, some documents or recommendation to uh, all stakeholders um, involved. So uh, without wasting for the time, I would move to the next uh, part of the uh, agenda, except anyone has something to add to the topic. Dr. Mbarak? <clears throat> Yeah, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Yeah, uh, my name is Mubarak, uh, one of the uh, CHEVA board member. I, I think it's, it's, it's a good topic. Uh, on, I didn't uh, really participate in the marking of the scripts. So uh, in terms of the details and quality of the essays, I might not be able to say much about it. But the topic itself, I think is something that is relevant. I think it's something that uh, uh that is worthy of you know is that medicine saying something uh no okay okay yeah it's just some reflection from the side mm -hmm. so i thought you were trying to say something all right okay so in terms of the uh, topic i think it's a very good topic uh we do know that uh in nigeria especially in recent times we have loads and loads of graduates that are not really educated uh, when you go for NYC camp and you are part of the medical people or the medical personnel that screen people, you'll be surprised how some people managed to print some certificate and they could not even, uh, you know, communicate effectively with you. So uh, I think in terms of uh, the uh, importance and the reflection of what, what is happening in our society, it's, it's such a good topic. Uh, regarding the uh, quality of the um, essays, I might not be able to say much about about that, but in terms of the topic, I think it's something that I agree with. I think it's something that 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 really reflects what is happening in 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 our environment. I'm, I'm looking forward to you know reading the uh, the top uh, five or top ten um, you know um, essays, you know, just to see how people were able to convey their message in such an effective manner. Thank you. I met saying there's something wrong with your stuff. I'm not sure whether yes, I, I'm the only one that it's, it's buffering. Yeah. I, Dr. Ahmed, are you there? Oh my. Yeah, it's freezing. Uh, uh, it might just be with you. Uh, I'm here. Can you hear me now? Oh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Can, yeah. can you see the screen? We can. Well, what? yes, we can. Okay, I would move to the um, next one. 
Okay, so um, 16th to 20th position, um, I would call on Barrister Mohamed Said to please um, announce the winners from the from the 20th to the 4th. Good day, everyone. I'm pleased Good day, thank you. to announce the winners for this year's national essay competition from the fifth to the twentieth positions. To start with, from the fifth to the twentieth positions, we have uh, undergraduates across higher institutions of learning in Nigeria studying the different courses ranging from law, engineering, medicine, agriculture. And um, most of the students have tried to submit entries like we listened to previously. And uh, the examiners have found these 20 uh, worthy of special mention. And the 20th, as we can all see, is no other person than Ogbogu Kalistos from the University of Nigeria, Onsuka, the Department of Agriculture, with 65%. And next to him is Ita Dara Abasi from the University of Uyo, a law student, with 67.5%. And the 18th position goes to Oyela de Victor, the University of Benin, a law student as well. And the 17th position goes to Abdukodri Shola Yusuf of the Amadou Bello University Zaria, an engineering student. The 16th position goes to Fatima Garba Yusuf of Bayero University. Can with 70%, also an engineering student. So from the 16th to the 20th positions, we have two engineering students and we have two law undergraduates. Next slide, please. Almost. The chairman. Yeah, yeah, I've got technical issues. Mm. Okay, I, I have to stop sharing and then I'll start sharing again. Okay, no problem. Spoil the show. Okay, let's proceed. We have to see it. Oh, it's loading. Okay. Um, uh, Dr. Mbara, can you share the slide, please? Okay, yes, it has come up now. Okay. The 15th position. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, the 15th position goes to Rafiu Saidat YMC of the Quara State Polytechnic, Department of Mass Communication. She had 71%. And close to that is a person that had 
31% as well from the University of Ibadan, Bashar, Joseph coming 14th, the medical student in the University of Ibadan. And the 13th position goes to Oladele Yusuf of the Federal University of Federal University in Duse in Igawa State. The mathematics uh, is a mathematician. And uh, we have uh, Chiwenite Kinsley of Namde Azikwe University in Oka coming 12th with 76.5%. A law student from the University of Lagos, Adiye Ibukun, came the 11th position with uh, 77%. I think we have more law students partaking in this year's uh, edition of the National Essay uh, Competition. We have law students, we have engineering students, and we have medical students. So far, we have seen only one polytechnic, and that is Kwara State Polytechnic participating yeah. in this. So in the, in the top 20, I think we had six law students. Um, Top 20, and then um, three medical students, one veterinary, um, two pharmacy, and then one from Mascom, mathematics, fisher work, and other, and agriculture. Okay. That means the fifth, fifth to tenth, the next slide. Yeah. Is, um, Dr. Brown, do you have the slide open on your, on your system? I'm also trying to open it here. So I, I can make you admin, you know. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> it remains only five. Okay, yes. I can see it now. Uh, the problem is that it's, it's having a mind of its own, so. Okay. Yeah, now, yes. Are we there? Yes. The 10th position is also going to the University of Lagos. Mm -hmm. We have Daniel Adiago, who's also a member of uh, the foundation. He had 77.5% sharing it with Omoto Shosodik from the University of Ibadan with the same points. 77.5 percent as well, and the eighth position goes to Sadiq or Laiemi, also from the University of Ibadan, the engineering students. 78.5 percent. We have another BUK here too. That is the seventh position, Alido Bona, with 84 percent, and the sixth position is from the Osho State University. I think that's really the only state university I've seen so far. With 85.5%, also a law student, Ajayi Bukun is of the Ocean State University. And the fifth position, also from the University of Ibadan. I think I've read up to like um, uh, six or there about from this first 20, all coming from the University of Ibadan. Almost Ayi Francis of the University of Ibadan. A medical student also had 86% coming fifth in this year's national essay competition. So a big congratulations to all the winners. And like, um, they'll soon be announced that they have something to take from uh, participating in this year's competition, especially those from one to 20. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, um, Barista Said and Tony, uh, and, um, for the presentation. So we'll would move to the next one, but before we do that, it appears that University of Ilor University of Ibada has come to dominate um, this year's essay competition. Quite a number of um, students from University of Ibada had been as, as part of the top twenty and even top even top ten. From among the top twelve, I think we have six students coming from University of Ibada alone. And that is quite encouraging. I think last year we had quite uh, impressive um, entries from University of um, Obafemi Olo University. 
Well, this, this time around, the, none of the students could make the top 20. I think only about three, four, five um, but students participated from the Obafemi Wallow University. Uh, same thing um, with the University of Illori, not many of them made the top 20, uh, but University of Ibadan, University of Lagos, and um, some Northern universities like BUK have been quite impressive um, this year. So we move to the next one, and uh, if pharmacist um, Nafisa is on the call, um, she should announce the fourth position, please. Uh, fourth and uh, fourth third position. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, good evening. Uh, my name is Nafisat Folaring, and I'm one of the board members. So I'll be announcing the. I'll be announcing the fourth position. Um, just, just a quick warning. My phone is a bit faulty, so if I go off in between the announcements, um, it's just because the phone has gone off. Noted. Okay, thank you. So the fourth position goes to Adireti Ayomide with 92.35%, and he's from the University of Nigeria, that's UNN, I believe, and he's studying medicine 500 level. Thank you very much. Um, he's got a very good profile, which we'll be sharing um, in, the, in the coming days. Um, he's got a lot of voracious appetites for learning and other uh, walks of life. Yeah, the third position. The third position we have Oni Ali, Oni Ali, Ali, Alelai, Atilola with 94.2% from the University of Ibadan, a 200 level medicine student. Yeah, and thank you very much. And um, do we have Ms. Saibad on the call to announce the second position? Okay, um, Ms. Nafisa, please go ahead. Okay, I think she's on the call. Yeah, Mr. Mrs. Mr. Iba, Salafadin. Yeah, hello. Um, good evening, everyone. I'm I'm Taiba Sharafuddin, and I'm one of the board members. Okay. Um, okay, we have the second position, which goes to Adeni Israel with um 94.4 percent and um is from University of Illinois, a 400 level law student. And then the first position. Yeah, go ahead, please. And the first position will go to um, Aremu Olalade Mustafa, which is 95.35% um, from University of Ibadan and um, is a law student, 300 level law student. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. And uh, the next section will be the awards to the winners, uh, uh, for which I'll call Dr. Mbarak to announce. Good, good evening, everyone. Good evening once again. Yeah. Good evening, uh, all protocols uh, duly observed. And uh, we are moving on to the next uh, stage, which is the award stage. Um, all 20, all top 20 participants will have something from halls in form of a certificate of excellence uh, to um, appreciate their profound contributions uh, in this year uh, essay competition. And also, uh, we started the Champions Educational Fellowship Program last year, in which we we're able to put together 10 best essays and uh, we, dis we we try to to mentor them over the course of the year give them some support you know uh, they had several presentations in between and all that and uh, we're able to achieve a lot together so we are hoping to repeat the same thing this year by uh, giving the best job students uh, they will be inducted into the 2022 2023 champions educational fellowship program and uh, I uh, assume the same uh, thing or even better will be will be uh, designed for them. And the best three candidates as uh, uh, boldly written on our adverts 
will be rewarded with cash prizes in form of scholarship. Uh, and the uh, uh, prizes uh, are in form of um, uh, money. I don't know whether uh, it's going to be transfer or, as we say, it cash in, it's going to be cash given the uh, problems or difficulty we've been seeing in 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 in. in you have cash, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah well, I, mean, I yeah. think we'll be transferring to the account from uh, we'll be having some check from us. Right, so it's now check prizes then, no longer yeah. cash prizes. Because somebody can somebody can pick me up and say he also wants money to to participate in this forthcoming election. So he, he wants it in form of cash, not uh, <laughs> electronic transfer. Mm. Right. Okay. So uh, check prizes as scholarship for the uh, best free candidate, One and of course, uh, as announced uh, on the sixth of March, the grand finale is going to take place virtually. <laughs> Uh, which is be the award ceremony that will be held on this platform, similar platform on the 6th of March 2023. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Mbarak. So um, some people will be smiling home with a very each sum. Um, the first position is getting 150,000 error from us. The second position, 100,000 error, and the third position, 75,000 error, as um, we've announced on the um, flyer that we used to call for articles. So um, we are moving to the end of the presentation gradually. And I think the next thing is appreciation. And on this note, I want to really, really appreciate everyone that has contributed into making this a success. Um, it's no, no, no one, no single person can do this alone, can accomplish this alone. We've had examiners working day and night, tirelessly, marking and remarking scripts before we get to this point. I have to be on the neck, mark again the second round, the third round, and I was becoming like a body, but they were, they never saw it that way. They kept on being re responsive and um, working with the timeline. Because in the beginning, we we make, we, we stipulated some timeline that we restricted, we, we have tried to adhere to. And today um, we are trying, we are making this video to, um, to the public to announce our winners as we have uh, promised uh, in the timeline. So, a big thank you goes to all the examiners that have participated in making this a success. In addition to that, all the board members, uh, the, 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 this cannot be done without them. All the board members, their financial, their physical, mental, their intellectual contribution is all that has shaped this into what has, what has become. And we are in the learning process of trying to improve um, all the process. So in addition, and, um, going forward, the executive of the Champions Education Foundation and working tellers, the, the media, the, the media and, um, and publicity committee, the welfare committee, the finance um, and fundraising committee, and the executive president and vice president, we must thank them for keeping a good face for the foundation. And uh, and all the floor members of the foundation are also are also sincerely appreciated. All, we don't have financial donors at this point, but we are hoping to get some in the, in the near future. And in anticipation of that, we also thank the potential donors and contributors to some of our programs, some or all of our programs. It's, a, it's indeed a pressure to be able to contribute to humanity and to be able to contribute to the development of youth through this um, platform, through our various um, programs that we've um, itemized. So um, on this note, I'll draw the curtain to the program. Program and saying a big thank you to everyone that have contributed into uh, making this uh, a success. Thank you and uh, God bless. Thank so, you very much. Sir. So thank you. Um, this is where we end. So um, we'll start receiving some phone calls now for people that have won. Uh, congratulations to them once again. Congratulations to all the top twenty. Congratulations to the top um, three that will be winning cash prizes and the fellows. Um, there's a lot in stock for them. Um, congratulations. Um, so 